uh, training ground, you are greeted by Captain Estrella Fiore. Thieves are cowards at heart. They will dodge your heaviest attacks just as they dodge their civic duty. A swift blade is best to defeat them. Here, try these out. Dual wield weapons are effective against fast enemies like thieves, but are weak against armored enemies like Empire. Cutthroats blades. The duel. If you are at war, use every tool at your disposal. If not, let things lie. This will be interesting. Eight damage. So it must be these must be fast weapons to 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 validate even having that. Also, if they're gonna give me the weapon like this, then I guess it's a good thing I chose food instead of a starting weapon. Stun thieves perform six strikes that cause stun to thieves. Stun enemies have 100 take 150 percent damage when hit. So you do you have to do 18 hits and then it does a six hit combo. These must be some really fast attacks. Uh, repost like always, but does better against thieves. Light ha, hits increase during hits increases during a combo. What does that mean? Hits increases. Repost can interrupt counterattacks, weak attacks, uh, weak against enemies with high defense. What does hits increases mean? It just sound, it, don't, it sounds like broken English, but I'm talking. But they're probably talking about like the concept of hits, so maybe just your combos. But, but that always is true. We always have combos. I don't know. Excuse me. Still, you find yourself hunting relics. Do you not wonder why? Or what they may do. Excuse me? Is this a one floor dungeon, maybe? Because this is huge. Wow. We're gonna need a lot of food to even be able to navigate these tiles, let alone heal and stuff. Your quest takes you far away from the city. Vast wild then stretch out before you. Your companion reminds you of the Emperor's mission. One relic was stolen by brazen thieves, another is in the clutches of a, of a shady merchant, one is enshrined in a small village in the east. As for the last, Kolbjorn shrugs, who knows? Find four relics and deliver them to the Empire safely. This is new. I think the entire mission might be just this one map, which is all, I was just talking about how they've revamped things and made them feel different from each other from mission to mission, and this would, this certainly adds to that. Oh, they're moving. That's freaky. The actual relics are moving. Yet inattention leads to disaster. Not every inch of the wilderness is peaceful. The treacherous wilds. The wilds are sometimes treacherous and harmful. While traversing a dangerous cliff face, you slip and lose your footing. Though relatively unharmed, the same cannot be said for the pack of traveler's rations that broke your fall. Oh, just eat them. Just eat them. Who cares if your food got a little bent? Well, you're gonna tell me I lost a food? Just eat it right now. What, did you get glass in it or something? It's probably still edible. Just make that today's food. Nah. This is just one. These tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options. More cards. More opportunities. And so the market thief arrives once again, and he's taking my stuff. Five gold. That's half of what I got for this mission in the first place. We better catch that guy. Watch me not catch that guy. Oh, yeah. I caught him, but I didn't catch him. And then I got my gold back, but we're not proceeding with the objective. And so it returns again. Token unacclaimed. Great. A moment of peace on your travels. Savor it. The open wilds. The wilds are welcoming, their bounty plentiful. A delightful aroma leads you to a troop of hearty morals. You use them to prepare a nourishing meal. Ooh, five max health. If I had infinite resources, I would just zigzag across this entire map and get every single card one by one, but I'm a little worried that I might run out of food. Oh, hey, somebody that might give me food. Okay, can I get some supplies, please? This should sustain you for a few days, she says, squinting at you with tired eyes. Oh, just three? I probably should have gone for the max health. We're getting really close to that guy. Treacherous wilds. Oh, my my rations. Oh, hey, friend. One more relic is within your grasp. Who hired these thieves? That is the true question. 
A plus thieves. <laughs> they they're so good at escaping me that they ran directly into the person that is seeking them out, and they did it themselves. Stolen relic. The thieves' erratic movements crosses right into your path. You catch them frantically loading the relic onto a horse and cart. Just hold them off for a few minutes while we ready the horses. Do I have a time limit then? I take it I have a time limit to defeat him. And get the relic, otherwise they might escape and I have to chase them down again. It's interesting because we're dealing with a situation where for once the core mechanic is not a card. It's a token moving around on top of the cards. Which is a note, it's actually, that's a noteworthy distinction between this this uh, scenario and previous ones in this game and the last one. Kolbjorn, his family lost, his clan turned against him. Kolbjorn has traveled south in search of meaning. When activated, Kolbjorn performs a charging attack that causes stun and may knock down weakened enemies. Stay close to charge his ability faster. I, I have a time limit. Ow. 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 Bad dodge, apparently. God damn. Yeah! There's so many of them. Ah. Ah. God damn it. Every time I try to start an attack, somebody catches me. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. No. God damn it. I'm trying to get away so bad. Fuck! Fuck! How did I even get over there? Oh. That was awful. So do I permanently fail or what? The distant hound, the distant sound of horses alerts you to a carriage disappearing over the horizon. You'll never catch them now. The relic escapes into the wilds. Nah, he's just over there. I can fight him again. Holy shit, though. It is hard to deal with that. Like, every time you start an attack, the animation starts playing, and then, like, so many other attackers start coming from all of these different directions, and you try to dodge, and it's just like, nope, you still got hit. You can't react in time. And I'm like, what? I feel so chained to my own character's uh, animation times. Are you really going to take more food for me? Holy crap. Oh, hey. You pluck some juicy wild berries from a thorn-covered thicket. The realization they are poisonous arrives far too late. Oh. Thanks. We're off to a good start, aren't we? I don't even want to go fight him again. I'll just die. I could camp, but I don't have a lot of food either. Not a ton. To find more food. Oh, shit. Shit. We recommend using one-handed weapons against Northerners. How do I have this many weapons? Huh. Do, they just get, do, you, do you always have access to all of the shitty weapons at once? Because those are just all rusty versions of the three types of weapons. I think they just give them to you all the time now. Now, shit, what? Come on! I was sitting there hammering the dodge button for the first dodge, and I was still trying to dodge even after the first dodge, uh, after the first hit hit me, and I still couldn't avoid the second hit. I, I don't understand why I can't get out of the way of attacks. Why won't the dodge respond? Ah, shit. Alright, well, our first death happened. That was off to a miserable start. Combat solves so little. It has ended this, however. Why... Why can't I figure out combat? It, I don't get what's going on. I'm just gonna hop back in there real quick. Uh, same stuff, sure. We'll just skip the starting dialogue and hop in.
Like, caution is best, re uh, reducing the number of people you're fighting in a given moment and trying to separate them into single this enemies clearly works to be an the best. For the world. As your heart goes, the body follows. But there's a lot of moments where I'm just like, I, 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 I hit them and then they're like, oh, here comes the response attack. I know, I'll block it or I'll dodge it or just, I'll, I'll try doing any of these responses to deal with the fact that they're attacking me. And I'm like, why can't I? Why, why can't I? I don't understand. I see the attack coming with so much time because the game's really slow. Like all these attacks happen really slowly. And I see it coming and I'm like, get out of the way. All right, let's go. I got it. I got this. And then I just don't got this. And I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. It feels wrong. I don't know why it, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm so confused about how this is going so poorly. Just immediately gonna take 10 hit points from me, huh? Exploration. We have many lands to discover, you and I. If you cannot make use of this, I will question your skills. The cartographer. A traveling cartographer in the process of making the first full map of the Empire wishes to pay you gold for information on areas you have seen in your recent travels. I need not know every stream, stream or stone that lies from here to the capital. I'm sure whatever knowledge you can provide will be of some worth. There are two revealed encounters on the map. Except for gold as payment for your information. I should I should absolutely return later. I have, this is the first encounter basically I've encountered. Come back soon, he calls as you leave the uh, to pursue your quest. So the cartographer is a card that shows up where you get paid for how many encounters you've encountered so far, and you can come back to it later. That's super powerful to have on the deck, especially now. Like in other in other scenarios, you'll do like one floor at a time. And so there'll be fewer cards, but this one, like, the cartographer should be, should be, like, massively powerful for this particular scenario. The wild are sometimes treacherous and harmful. Oh, poison again. It was your actions that necessitated these additions to the game, you understand? I knew you were approaching and tailored things around your lust for fame. Fame and shame. He's giving me shit for having a lot of fame in a game. Even though the last scenario required fame. Judgy bastard. You follow the sound of hammering into this town hall. Inside, a tiny man stamps, uh, stands atop a stool, chipping away at a row of marble sculptures. Impressive, is it not? Sir Malafowl of Kadir is a great patron of the arts. You could be too. We can commission a ceramic sculpture or a mar marble sculpture, or decline. I'm pretty sure the reward is fame, and I'm not sure how much. Let's test the waters with ceramic. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you can't track that. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> when you return to the town hall to inspect your sculpture, you find it has been vandalized. Rotten eggs tarnish what would have otherwise been a masterpiece. Spoiled goods. Food... Re Oh, uh, it's a curse. Rations. Food received from food gain cards is ha- Fuck me. I just spent money to get fucked. <laughs> like, I'm so screwed. Food is the specific thing you need for this scenario, and it's getting cut in half? That could not have gone worse. Alright. We- and then we lose rations. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry, did you just say I lose seven food? They just took all of my food after saying I'll get half food this this challenge. I might as well just start over a third time at this point. Uh, with how bad I've been screwed immediately. Nothing has happened besides bad things. What the? <laughs> and I'm like a quarter of the way through the level. Uh, here comes the challenge again. So he, they, he seems to follow a really specific path if he met me at the same spot again. Can't, I can't believe how badly this has already gone. How do I kill all of these guys in like 45 seconds while being cautious enough to not get hit by them constantly? Because the, I was almost dead from being aggressive. Oh, 
God damn it, I cannot build a combo because I get hit so much. God damn it. They are relentless. God, uh... How? There's... I was non-stop bashing them apart. <laughs> How? How do you kill them in time? That's the recommended weapon for them, supposedly. I don't believe them now. That was non-stop DPS against the Horde, and it didn't kill them. Did either the, either there's a way, way better knife to get over the course of the mission, or maybe, they're, maybe their losses are persistent. Maybe you can come back and fight them again, and the same people will still be dead, I hope. Because they've escaped yet again. At least I lost fewer hit points. Starvation has been the end of many adventurers. Alright, we've now failed your objective too. Corbjorn returns to his home village to partake in toil, the ritual cleaning of his people's ancestral grave mounds. He invites you to accompany him. Nope, because you need a blessing, so I gotta politely decline. Colbjorn nods, his great head in acceptance. I'm really bad at this whole companion quest thing. I'm two thirds dead. I can't just jump back into the same challenge again, can I? Hmm. A simple part of every story, especially a tale spent in the company of allies and boon companions. I hope our friendly friend can give me some food as a reward for past encounters, or I'm about to starve to death anyway. As night draws in, you return to the Rusty Razor. The proprietor greets you warmly. What can I provide to the savior of the Rusty Razor? Healing food and lodging. Uh, yes. How about yes? Heal by a meal or rest. What do you require? So the he's, he he acts like these three are lists. So can you can you ask for the latest rumors without? Is that are they mutually exclusive? Uh, I, I can't risk it, can I? I don't know, man. You would think discussing latest rumors would be like a, just a free little action that's not the same as doing a normal action, but I, it doesn't indicate any any way. Then it might be that if you click on this, it reveals what a card is on the table, but then you are done, and I need food. Oh, you have to buy the food manually. Okay. It's not even a great price either. It's better than some of them, but shit, you don't get free food. So three for 12. That's enough for now. Okay, so that's, this changes everything. I thought this was an event card like the old Maiden, mainly because you've helped him before. So I thought like maybe he'd give you some free food. Like, yeah, thanks for your help. No, he charges you for everything, for healing and food and for everything. So let's discuss the latest rumors then, since apparently this is more of a store than a, an event. The innkeeper tells you that the recent cheese festival has kept the inn busy and his coffers full. Lodging? Oh, so it's just, it's like camping, basically. Looking for lodging, lodgings, eh? We have some fresh made beds for travelers such as yourself. It's free, of course, assuming you have provisions. Yeah, so it's just a chance to use your food to heal. But I need the food to not die, because it will take 10 health every time. Uh, I'll do what I can, pat do what I can to patch up your wounds. So you just, you straight up don't even get options. I can't even learn what the prices are. You leave the inn. I need this thief dude to stay away from me, because I'm going to die if I fight him again. Oh hey, the other thief dude. Not to be confused with the other thief dude, there's more thief dude. He's, he's taking my gold. The joke's on you. I don't even have enough gold for you to steal. Well, let's see how bad I can hurt myself here. Ooh, there we go. The thief is nimble, but you manage to gain on them as they negotiate the crowd. And I catch him potentially with a 14. Back to the bones. I wow. Hope you've learned to be their master. Fuck me, right? All right. Wow. Ugh. 
Colbjorn offers another die. It's not worth it. You'd roll one additional die, which means you can add anywhere from one to six. But there's a there's a there's a two and three chance that it won't even help. So I'm going to save that because losing them for three missions could be really rough. Yep. Hmm. I'm somewhat surprised you lost that one. Really? You're surprised that I've lost the thing that I always lose at? An opportunity to better understand these lands, perhaps. On the edge of the Empire, far from the capital, sits a lonely watchtower. You approach with caution, knowing that few travelers are allowed near. Halt, calls a soldier as you approach the tower. None may cross the border from the northern lands onto the Empire. Uh... Don't have gold to offer. Wait, yeah, I don't have gold to offer. I didn't get my gold back? Ah, oh, shit. I feel like they were inaccurate about the huge success versus success meanings in the last one. It feels like if you get a normal success, then you, then you like have a continued pursuit against the thief where you have to keep doing more challenges to get your money back. Obviously the, that would then lead, it, obviously that leads to like the token and everything, but if you get a normal success right now, you get your gold back instantly with no further challenges, which feels like a huge success. It feels like they made the, ch the continued chase the huge success condition simply because uh, it leads to the token. Even though really a huge success is getting your stuff back immediately. But instead, success gives you stuff back immediately, and a huge success uh, leads to a continued chase where you can still fail. So a huge success is blatantly not a huge success, otherwise I would have my money right now. So I can try to sneak past the tower or go the long road around. But my, 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 my resources... I, I bet that if I do the long way around, it's going to take my food away right now. So I could do try to sneak, which has a... Probably gonna be a, a skill check, and then if I fail it, we probably do a fight, or to or I take health damage immediately. But I don't have gold to offer. You return hours later as night approaches. As you scramble through the undergrowth, you hope their scouts don't spy you. Now this is where that whole extra dice might come in handy, or I could just immediately get it. The wind here sets the tone for your challenge. You scale the tower without incident, because you a badass. You get two fame. You look to the east and west and gain two fame. How did I get two fame? Nobody saw me. <laughs> Am I famous for jumping over this tower now, even though no one saw me do it? Whoa. Now I know not to go to any of those places, if I can avoid it. Neat. Well, that saved me a bit. You turn your gaze, your gaze north and south. Oh, but we're on the we're on the border of the map. Wow. This place is packed with wilds. The open wilds are good though, right? That's where you get your food and stuff like that. Where treacherous and dangerous, or where bad things happen. Treacherous lose takes your food. Dangerous hurts you. I didn't re realize how big of a percentage of this map is going to be shit. <laughs> Just shittiness everywhere. Shittiness as far as the eye can see. You continue your journey. Going up. The happy place where happy happens. Please give me food. The wilds are welcoming. Their bounty, their bounty plentiful. You find some lost equipment discarded on the path. You don't know if it was abandoned through accident or foul play. Ooh. Ooh. What do you do? Resist corrupted. Corrupted inflict 25% less damage. Don't starve. Lose one max life instead of taking starvation damage. That's pretty good. If I'm about to start starving, then losing one max life is really minor compared to losing five health. Because five, the constant health loss will kill me. Whereas losing one max life is like such a slow problem for what's... And you're hopefully not starving like ten plus t uh, times at a time. I don't have the fame though. It requires seven fame. Oh shit. Oh man, I saw this and I was like, oh, I'm saved. Right when I'm running out of food, I get a thing that fixes that. But I need five more fame for it. Meanwhile, the Cardinal Blade is a nice weapon that does not require anything. And it gives me an AoE that might be necessary for killing those thieves, since it's sure not working out so far. Eh, I'm gonna go with Cardinal Blade. Do you 
use this for its holy virtues or its cutting edge. I don't know, but I'm gonna do this other open one again. So I'm starving and I need food. And they didn't give me food despite the welcome wilds and their plentiful bounty. They didn't give me food somehow. A delightful aroma leads you to a troop of hearty morals. There you go. A nourishing meal. F oh, god damn it. That's not what I want though. Not five max health. I need healing. I require food healing, please. Oh, I'm dying. Ooh! Food, please. Please. Yes, succulent berries. Thank you, Jesus. But I only get half because of the other curse. Oh, you're being so mean today, game. Why is this happening? Oh, isn't this nice? I lost equipment again. There was four open wilds next to each other. Holy crap. The armor of gluttony. Plus one food for every food gain card or, or gold or gain gold card you receive. So food from when you get food or gold, I need that. So it's probably a good idea. And we just verified that when you, uh, I'll still get the plus one because when you cut something in half, you uh, round up in this game. I gained five and it was cut in half to three, which is the opposite of D&D &D where you round down usually. Food defense, gain plus three defense if you have 20 plus food. <laughs> gain extra three defense for each additional five food. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh, fame required of 12, so I can't even wear this cool item. Shit. Frontier Barbot. Weakened to block. Bash an enemy with block or remove their armor to cause a brief stun. Map reveal. After every encounter with a gambit, reveal one ran uh, random encounter card on this level. That's pretty good. It had helped me avoid more of the hazardous levels, potentially. And it's a helm, and I can wear it now. I'm gonna go with that. Hardly elegant, but possibly effective. Listen, I'm just trying not to die, dude. Don't make fun of me. Shit. I steal within. Here I go dying. <sighs> Anarchist of Greed and Three of Steel. Oh, they're armored. Light weapons are recommended against thieves. But those are that's those are steel enemies. They use heavy weapons. Does the game not know? I think it's only making a recommendation based on one of the enemies I'm fighting. I might start with the, stick with the Cardinal Blade. It's something that if one of them's a light enemy and one of them's a heavy enemy, so I'm going with the medium might help. It's also my only upgraded weapon. The other ones are all rusty items, so it might be worth it. The wilds are home to many a rebel, criminal, and beast. Come on, wander. Let's try not to die. I die in like three hits. Maybe fewer from the fire attacks. I don't remember what they do. Although I have defense now. But, oh, but that doesn't work against fire. They told me that. It's only four dudes. It's only four dudes. What? I was hitting A. My character was on a weird trajectory that I did not understand. I didn't even tell him to attack, but he was like chasing someone. Shit. Oh, God damn it! that's not my ally. Well, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. 11 hit points and one food. <laughs> this is so down to the wire. Uh, it's like a lot of my D&D &D scenarios, really, of how close and how bad things get. With the battle resolved, you scavenge what you can from the remains. You get four fame and equipment. What could it be? The ring of food. So much magic comes down to simple needs in the end, don't you find? That's a cool option to have. Whenever I get something that's not a food gain card, I can turn it into a food gain card for two food. Oh, or it actually doesn't say you don't turn it into a food gain card. You just get two food. Period, which means that the cut in half food bonuses probably does not count, but also the plus one bonus probably also does not count. But hey, a chance for more food and a thing where I desperately need food. Ooh, food that I lose some of. Wait, how did I loot? I gained plus two food. Oh wait, yeah, I don't have the the. F I was thinking about the food item I didn't use because I couldn't because of the fame bonus that blocked me from using it. 
I was like, why why didn't that apply? And I remember because I forgot I didn't have it. Uh, I'm going near the merchant, but I'm afraid to approach the merchant because he's dangerous. I need to actually no, no I didn't mean to do that. Spirit can never hope to get the best possible price. Well, do I have something to sell? Cutthroat's blade's worth a little bit, but that's about it. Not in a hurry to sell. Although I could sell the ring of food to buy food. Which might be worth more than now. Because food's actually surprisingly expensive in this game. Because they know exactly how valuable it is. Uh, I didn't really mean to do this. So let's just get out of here. I meant to do map. Oh! That's nice of you, game. Clan Eyebright is still a visible card that you can use, so if I get a blessing, I can come back and do the event, apparently. Much like the cartographer. So let's verify whether or not it's safe to walk around in this game. Okay, I did not lose anything from walking around on the previously explored tiles. Good. I'm gonna go to that cartographer. There's 18 revealed encounters, so we can get 20 gold as payment. Let's do that. A cartographer listens intently as you relate what you can remember of the neighboring areas. You can, you can optionally go for the food, but no, I'm not going to go for two food when I get 20 gold, because that, that's, that's worth at least, like, three to five uh, food if I buy it. So, continue. You spend several hours in his company until he is satisfied that you have nothing else useful to add. Oh, that wasn't enough. Oh well. Now we know. I'm a little worried about the thief guy. Kind of want to awkwardly and carefully escape his grasp for a bit. Because <laughs> he can move anywhere in one tile and I will super be dead from that fight. Let's go over here. Hey, it's the old maiden! Yay! Uh... Uh... Gotta go for supplies right now, right? Although I can kind of afford some supplies, but I need- I still need a lot of supplies in general. Come on! Uh, it's two still, though, at least. I'm a. I'm trying to avoid the actual objectives as much as I can, because they could be really dangerous to me. And I'm trying to slowly recover. Weapons. Perhaps both will fulfill you here. As you approach a bridge high in the mountains, you see that it is already occupied. Ah, uh, yay. From your viewing angle, you notice that the bridge structure has been damaged. With luck, you may be able to knock out one of the supports with a thrown object, causing the bridge to collapse. Have to throw a piece of equipment to do that. Will you risk throwing one of your belongings at the bridge or charge headlong into battle? Well, I'm going to be s probably super dead if I fight them. You can throw a rock. If I were to take a guess, I would say throwing a piece of equipment is a guaranteed success, while throwing a rock is a is a chance of success. I might want to throw a piece of equipment just to make sure this works. You inspect your belongings for something that might work. Throw the cutthroat's blades. I don't like them. You take a moment to gauge the wind and then uh, launch the projectile at the bridge. The bridge breaks. Okay, so there's no check. If you if you spend an item, then it's just a guaranteed win. The bridge breaks, sending some of the your enemies to their doom. The rest prepare for about a fuck. Do I pick which one falls? Like, there's a trapper, and there's the enemy, the steel enemies. What does continue mean? Is that who I fight, or who goes away? Okay, so I'm choosing who dies. It doesn't say, it doesn't say discard, it just says continue. I'm like, what does that mean? Now we know. I was really hoping to f skip the fight. Uh, it's just two. You didn't stun him at all! God damn it. I was relying on my ally to stun him with this stun attack, and it didn't even slightly happen. 
God damn it, I'm trying to be cautious and I still get hit. I can't fight in this game. Next, I can't do it mid-run, I have to do it between runs, but I need to review my, my ally's move. I thought it was a stunning attack that stuns people, and I triggered it, and I'm like, okay, he's gonna stun that guy, and then I didn't stun him. He searched the Fallen for anything of value. Money! I can camp and turn this money into food. Or I can gain two food. Well, if I spend... It's actually pretty good. Buying three food currently costs me usually like, what, 12 or 16, depending on who you buy it from? And three will then turn into two. So if I turn this for two f into two food, it, it, which is uh, like re that's actually currently a, a net gain compared to what it does otherwise. So let's let's uh, discard. There we go. And he's wandering away, so I can safely go to this tile now. Fuck. So I get for saying safely. Uh, they killed my rations. You, you fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Really. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, and then more bad wilds. The, my attempts at navigating the map and trying to get myself out of this pit of having no health left is not working. It's only getting worse at all times. Apparently skeletons are still enemies in this game. There's a five of skulls and an anarchist of greed. How this guy that throws Molotov cocktails around has a gang of spooky scary skeletons around is anyone's guess. We recommend light weapons against thieves. Isn't that just the one anarchist? I assume? Oh boy. Yeah, there's no avoiding this scenario. And I don't, do not have hit points, so we're in a bad spot. I kind of want my trickster back because he gave me a defensive bonus. I'm not entirely convinced that my ally holds his own during combat, so having that bonus was really nice. Returned. Raised from endless sleep to fight once more, skeletons are weak but come armed with an assortment of equipment, making preparations for combat challenge. Uh, preparations for combat challenging. Vulnerable to holy. Wow. Good to know that it's a hard group that I'm not likely to be able to defeat, because I'm in. Now that I have, like, no health left. Thanks for that. Ugh, God damn it, I was rolling. God damn it. You son of a bitch. No, escape. <laughs> I can't fight in this game, it's impossible! Oh my god. Can you fight them for a bit, dude? I can't figure out how to play this game, apparently. Okay, get out! No! <sighs> now death comes to you. This story ends here. This game's making me feel like an idiot. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I've played so many action RPGs and so many action games in general, and I've played Hand of Fate before, and, I'm, and I've played so many similar games, and I'm like, I, how do I avoid damage? I can't... I, I, I just take the hit? <laughs> like, I press the reaction button as soon as I see the prompt of like, oh, an, an attack's coming, and it just doesn't work. But it did in the last one. And it just doesn't work on this one, and I'm like, I don't... Am I doing it wrong, or is this just what this game feels like now? I don't know.